on the two-yard line. It's Wakefield, and he is brought down shy of the 15 for the Commodores. And they're going to run the ball from the 15-yard line, and breaking a tackle is Keyshawn Vaughn. He's then dragged down after a gain of three. On second down, they'll run Vaughn again and gets maybe a yard in those last two games. Shermer from the pocket gets hit, and the ball was out, but it's ruled a forward pass. It was Zuniga that had pressure that time. Season, more touchdown passes already than he had all of last year. He's going to throw here on first and 10 to the sideline, and it is caught. Oh, and they come out with tempo. Out in space to Hammond, has blockers inside the 40 and of the 38-yard line in 2009. Protecting the ball, even though he's got those picks in the last couple of games, as Scarlett catches it out of the backfield. Another run play, it's Scarlett again on second down. A pitch to Scarlett, and he's taken down short of the line to gain by Jordan Griffin. That's good tackle by Griffin. Florida going for it, Franks, and he's able to get the first down. This opponent this week. There is Scarlett to the 10, and down to the 5. Quite like that. Ninth play of the drive, and the pass tipped in the air, and it is intercepted. After review, video evidence shows that the runner was down after the interception. Third pick in the last three games by Franks Vaughn. And he's loose. He's got running room past the 15-yard line. And the Illinois transfer stays in bounds. All the way up to the 45. Former Gatorade Player of the Year in Tennessee. Shermer going downtown. Caught at the 40 for a first down. Territory and flipped the field. At Georgia, or against Georgia last week, they struggled doing this, but they get a first down here with Sam Dobb. And it's a jet sweep to Lipscomb with blockers inside the 10-yard line, and finally knocked out a play at the 7. Play fake. Shermer looking. Got a wide-open man. It's a touchdown for Jared Pinckney. For six games total in the first quarter already seven here today and now franks back to the air after an interception he is throttled in the backfield taken down at the 16 yard line franks will throw again on second and long that one is caught on a comeback route at the 32 yard line by van jefferson they'll run it on third down and two and get the first down with lamichael p ryan jet sweep Kadarius Tony cuts it back and gang tackled at the 43. Here comes a direct snap to P. Ryan again, and it's close. Did he get past the line of that initial surge? They built late first quarter, 7 0. Franks from the pocket, slings it complete. A first down of the 38 yard line to Kyle Pitts. We'll keep you posted on that. Damian Pierce, the two freshman, is now the reserve. And here's P. Ryan between the tackles, down to the 30. Be the carry the load. Swing pass, P. Ryan with blockers, gets the first down. That was executed beautifully on the perimeter. Give the P. Ryan again up the middle. And they're getting nine yards of pop. The P. Ryan, man, he runs hard. P. Ryan again inside the 10. You made the point about that jump cut on fourth down. On the field here for Florida on second and goal. And he's going to block for Franks. Heading for the pile on the stead. He's drilled out of play. It's only once this year, and this is a 22-yard attempt. And he gets Florida on the board Phil early in good. the second quarter. The state champion in high school. On first down, Shermer setting up the screen to the Mamba. He's past the 30-yard line, and there he goes. Crossing midfield, he stumbles. They track him down at the five. They push him out of bounds at the one-yard line. No, it's a touchdown. It is a touchdown, 75 yards for Keyshawn Vaughn, the Red Mamba. Effort, and it needs to be acknowledged by the great wide receiver. Pierce gets the call here on first down to the 32. They're just one of four on third down. Here's pressure. Franks gets hit. 
and the ball sails over the head of Kyle Pitts. Kenny Abair things up here. Gonna give to Keyshawn Vaughn, hit in the backfield. Does well to get back near the line of scrimmage, but will still lose a yard. Coming up to support Kalijah. They run on second and 11, and Vaughn doesn't get much. Gonna bring up third and long. Clock down to three. Shermer to throw here with time. Receiver wide open. It Baldo comes out. Swain has to back up to field it on his 29-yard line. And Swain gets a block, gets another one past midfield. And out of bounds inside the Vanderbilt 40-yard line. Teams groups, and that's a big reason why those groups are improved this year. There's Scarlett on the run. You also saw the long snap for Ryan Farr in there to make a hit. And they will run the ball straight ahead, diving for the first down. Defensive coordinator of the Oakland Raiders, and he ended up getting that opportunity. Franks fumbles the ball. It's kicked around. Odengbo can't get it. Johnson can, and now it's kicked to the sideline. Finally scooped up by Vanderbilt. Dio Odengbo comes up with it. Successful so far today. Let's see if they can do it here. Blasting game trying to cut it back. Runs into a wall. Jabari Zaniga there first. The ball. And a penalty marker down. There is some pushing and shoving after the play. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike oh conduct my goodness. on the defense, number 11. Second and goal. Whitfield straight off into the end zone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Franks to throw. And it's caught for a first down by Tyree Cleveland all over early, and they haven't rebounded. Franks takes off here, and he breaks a tackle and gets a first down. There on the Gator sideline. He ran again up the gut. Going to be another Florida first down. Play action here for Franks, taking a shot downfield. Just overthrew the intended receiver Van Jefferson with Joan Johns uh, Williams in coverage for Vanderbilt. Going to control the outcome of that game. Franks on second down. Tony on the wide receiver screen is loose down the sideline and tackled at the 31. Seen in that today. Franks off play action gets hit and sacked at the 38 yard line by Louis Vecchio. 100 percent gets the sack. Franks. Throws a strike to Jefferson, going to bring up third down. Third and five. Leaving the backfield is Piran. He has the catch and has the first down. Piran inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. And man coverage on the swing route. They go tempo. Piran again. Hit at the one. Reaches the ball out. The ball comes out. After review, video evidence shows that the runner did break the goal plane of the goal line. It is a touchdown. Kyle Shermer has been solid, not spectacular, but he's got two touchdown passes. They run the ball here with Blassen game, stood up by Joseph. The pressure off the right-hand side. Shermer stands tall in the pocket, but Joseph knocks it down. Has an 85-yard punt return for a touchdown earlier in the season. Is deep, and this is a line drive right to him. Swain from the 25-yard line. He's already at the 35 with a fly down. Swain out of bounds near midfield. A second penalty marker is down, and there's an injured Vanderbilt player. There are two fouls on the play during the return, illegal block in the back on the return team number 27. Personal foul targeting on the return team. That play is under further review. The header neck area. The ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number 41 of Florida has disqualified himself from the ball game. The penalty for the illegal block in the back will be enforced 10 yards from the spot of the foul. It will be a first down. So it's James After Houston. After the play was over, we have unsportsmanlike conduct against both Vanderbilt and Florida's teams. Number 11 of Florida had an unsportsmanlike conduct foul prior to this. Number 11 from Florida is also disqualified. Wow, that is huge watching a Florida player do it here against the Suns team. Pressure off the edge. P. Ryan out in space. 
He's got running room at the 40 yard line. He won into Vanderbilt territory. Cuts it back at the 30 yard line. Being chased at the 15. They finally get him and take him down with five seconds left. And Vanderbilt, or Florida rather, will call a timeout with five seconds to go. You weren't going to get it because you're at your 15 yard line with a minute to go. And McPherson nails it. 21. 13 is the score at halftime in Nashville. Done running the first half, going to get a lot more carries now with the injury to Bond. And Wakefield is inside the 30, spun down by Jackson. Who Shermer on second down, rifles it over the middle. And able to hang on to it is Chris Pierce for the first down. Play action, Shermer dumps it off to Blassen game. Leveled out of play by Jackson. Shermer hands to Wakefield, trying to stretch it to the perimeter, and he's spun down by Kerry Clark at the line of scrimmage. Conversion of the game. Keep an eye on Pinkney right there in the slot. Pass underneath is caught by Pierce. He will not get the first down. And he missed it. Full eyes on it here. Out in space, P. Ryan, they had a big play on a similar call besides them. They can fill our time. When like, we're not cow here. like cowboy boots. Third and three, Franks throws high, incomplete. Fourth down, Tommy Toms and on the punt. It's a fake, Townsend picks up the first down. What a call by Dan Mullen. Townsend gets the first down of the 45. They haven't blown it dead just yet, now they finally do. An 18-yard run by the punter, and now pushing and shoving, the punter getting into it with a Vanderbilt player. Alex Stump for Vanderbilt was trying to rip the ball away from Tommy Towns. He said, get off me. Plays of the game offensively. Well, we knew a trick play was coming at some point. Pierce lowers the shoulder to the 38-yard line. Third and three. Franks throws to Jefferson. is free at the 20-yard line. Going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Gators. Van Jefferson has been Felipe Frank's go-to guy in the passing game with his fourth receiving touchdown of the year. It hasn't quite hit his stride yet, but it's coming. Shermer, wide receiver is wide open. It's Lipscomb first down and more to midfield. Florida completely vacated that side of the field. They lead the Gators. Shermer does get hit that time. Maybe felt the pressure from behind by Zuniga. Jefferson did. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Frank's in the pocket with time. Down the seam. It's caught by Stevens at first down. The years they're waiting for that next guy. Could it be Jordan Griffin this year? And they run around second and ten. Scarlett has stood up. Including this one for the Florida Gators. On third and three, a huge gap. Scarlett is gone. And the Gators have the lead. Touchdown, Florida. Sean Vaughn was injured. They haven't done much since. Shermer rolling out in trouble, gets hit, and it's rolled a forward pass incomplete. The only rush for Shermer steps up, completes the pass, but short of the first down. It's better to complement each other on both sides of the ball. Fun group. Good play there. Pierce fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Vanderbilt. Another turnover by the Gators. They need Shermer to make a play here. Beautiful defensive play by Trey Dean, knocking down the ball. But he's perfect on this one. And over issues in this game. They're going to let him throw here on first down. And his pass is caught to the 40-yard line is Cleveland. The clean jersey afterwards. Well done by the O-line. And here Franks keeps it. And he's up to the 47, Adnan Verk. Here comes a reverse to Tony, and he's got a ton of green inside the 30. 
Inside the 25 and down to the 22 yard line. Receivers at the bottom of your screen and they're going to throw it over here. And Swain stumbled but gets inside the five dives into the end zone. Touchdown Gators. In this situation. They rush five. Shermer goes underneath. The catch is made, but short of the first down to C.J. Bowler. Now they're set. Here comes pressure, and the pass is caught for a first down. Bowler on the catch. Boy, Shermer did such a good job. He hung in there. Third and three for Vanderbilt. Shermer pumps, throws complete. First down. Covered. Ford on territory, pressure coming up the middle. Shermer has his man, Pickney, on the catch. But on territory, obviously, down 10 points. Trying to get a chunk of it back here. Down to the 34-yard line is Ellis. He's already down to two. 53-yard attempt. Does it have enough? It does! Riley Gay, who missed a 25-yarder in the third quarter, makes a 53-yarder in the fourth. They're going to go with Hulda. They're going to run P. Ryan, and he got it. First down and more. P. Ryan. A ton of running room. First down into Vanderbilt territory inside the 35-yard line. If the Gators don't get it, they might go for it on fourth down. P. Ryan is dropped for a loss at the 26. Freshman kicker. 43-yard attempt by McPherson. It hooks in. It's good. And Florida leads by 10. Better be minimized because Georgia can exploit them. Here's Lipscomb on the run. Gets the first down. Things to go. Shermer looking downfield. Long throw. It is intercepted by Gardner Johnson. One more snap for the Florida offense. His team to keep their mouths shut. End the game and get in the locker room. We'll keep an eye on the handshake here between Dan Mullen and Derek Mason. After Florida closes this one out, 37-27, the Gators beat the Commodores.